Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Flower Kid, and today I'm bringing you another gameplay commentary. Um, it's uh, me again, and we're doing uh, episode 4 of the uh, What Halo 5 Needs to Do to Be Successful. And um, the gameplay in the background, well, it's awful, man. I am disgraced to even show you it. Um, I go strongly negative, but we have Crossman. And my good friend Choco right there. Um, but you know, anything can happen um, in Halo. And that's what's good about it. The, the tight games. And this is one of those really tight games. You just don't know what's going to happen ever. Um, I, this is a game where I've just came back and I'm just really, really shabby. You can tell by the sniping, the shooting. Anyway, moving on. This is uh, part two, episode four of Weapons and Armour. Uh, now, weapons. Um, following on from the customization available to you that we talked about in the last episode, um, the customization by getting credits and various things can be used to buy the armor, like we said. But also, what about uh, weapon skins? Like, oh, I'm sorry, but the Arctic BR skin. That looks absolutely sick, man. That was such a sick skin, and I'm sure most of you agree it was. A brilliant brilliant skin to have and I never got it but um, it just looked absolutely insane and I'll just die for stuff like that um, the skins also the other skins were decent man but they're no way as good as that um, but the, some of the skins were really cool and it was a really cool idea by 343 to um, be able to um, implement that into the game but I want to see in Halo 5 I want to see more I want to see a lot lot more of um, I don't know why that went off of me. I want to see a lot lot more of um, what's happening uh, with the skins and stuff. Uh, not just BR as well. I want cool skins. I want sexy skins. And also um, Carl's commentary gave me this idea pretty much. Um, oh my link is a thing in the description if I remember. Because um, I'm awful doing stuff like that. Anyway what he he's doing is um, he's um, designing his own skins in Photoshop and just uh, doing a video on them, just putting them on the video, and they all look really, really cool. He's got like BR pistol, you know. He's actually got some really good ideas going. Like a, there's a Blizzard one, and that looked sick, man. That was that was literally a really cool idea, and that was so cool. If you can do that in Halo Five, customize your own skins, man. That would be absolutely insane. That some of the stuff, and you just buy it with your credits or. You go on to like, I don't know, xbox.com, Halo Waypoint, and there's a little design your own skin thing. And then you, I think, you'll be able to buy it with credits. You won't be able to get them for free, because, you know, um, make, it gives them money, pretty much. But also, it's a good way to for Microsoft to get in money um, by using uh, Microsoft points to buy skins and various stuff like that, you know. Um, so, enough with the customization of the weapons. One note the types of weapons. What weapons are actually going to be there? What weapons are going to be interesting and decent to use? Well, um, first of all, the types of weapons. So, in Halo 4 you had the Prometheans, the Covenant and the Humans. Um, whereas in previous games you only had the Humans and the Covenants. Um, the, for the Forerunner weapons, they really, I'm not going to lie, they didn't add much to the game. They were like, it was a sort of an add-on sort of thingy majig, you know what I mean? It was a um, a ploy to get more people playing. And I have to admit, the effects of when you picked it up in the campaign, that was cool, man. That was that looked like a proper badass getting your weapon out like that, didn't it? Um, but they didn't take that into matchmaking. And I'm not really surprised as well, because if they had, it did take a while to get your weapon out. And I would have been pretty annoyed if that was in that. Um, but yeah, um, they'll probably keep that. Um, I'm not going to be surprised if they don't. In my opinion, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, they can have four iron weapons. I don't use them anyway, so it's not really going to be my problem if they come in or not. Um, Biden Rifle was good. Incineration was a good idea. Um, light Rifle was decent. Bolt Shot, oh god. Turn down the Bolt Shot, man. What were you thinking? Even since the nerf, the Bolt Shot is like the o most overpowered thing since the pistol in Halo 1. Seriously, man. It was ridiculously overpowered. And um, absolutely, um, it's so frustrating, man. I think it's just what they should do is not make it a secondary weapon. Make it like the um, in Halo 3, you had a gun that you charged up and shot. I don't know the name of it, um, but it was a forerunner weapon, and that was that was a brilliant idea. They should keep that. They should 
put the bolt shot in instead of that, but have it as a pickup rather than a weapon you can start with, especially as a secondary. Um, I've also got down on my notes old guns. Now, what gun with what weapons would you like to see return um, from previous Halo games? Personally, I would love to see the needle rifle from Halo Reach return. That was a cool gun to rival the DMR in both range and um, shots fired. Um, also, oh, the, the grenade launcher. What the hell happened to that, man? I'm sorry, the sticky detonator is just not the same for me anyway. I prefer the grenade launcher. I think that was a really cool idea. Um, um, other than that, I wouldn't add any more weapons. Maybe one, one like they added the railgun. That was a cool addition. Uh, maybe another one here. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure a weapon right now. Um, they haven't really included. Maybe a different... Oh, machine gun. Or, um... I don't know. I really don't know about this. Um, it's not my strong point. Uh, um, designing, I mean, like, um, creativity. But nevertheless, um... Yeah, old guns. Those were the two I like to see return. The, um... The, uh, oh my god. The grenade launcher and the needle rifle. They were cool, man. They were cool. I like them. Um, anyway, new weapons, I've uh, just discussed that really, uh, new weapons, maybe add one here, one there, um, but nothing, nothing drastic, you know what I mean? Um, also, what else? Um, weapons to take out, what would you take out? I wouldn't take out anything, I think it works well as it is, it's not really my problem if it's there, unless it's the bolt shot. Keep in the bolt shot, I don't have a problem with it, it's just that it's a bit overpowered and it's just a bit ridiculous to use, you know what I mean? Um, anyway, um, what else is there? Yeah, I'll, I'll just add the two weapons that I named, really. Um, I'm just trying to think of something to say for the last, well, few kills that are left. As you can see, we're down by five, with, uh, five minutes on the clock, and they're on 45, so it's going to be tough to come back from this scoreline, but you just wait and see what happens. Um, new weapons? Yeah, obviously not. Uh, I think the carbine, that is actually such a cool weapon. Like, no one uses it, but it's actually the most beasty weapon I could actually name, because it has the fastest quick kill time out of all the um, first weapons, and it's it's actually a really sick secondary, it actually beats the BR, like, I fire it, and like, it just wrecks the BR sometimes, it's funny, because it really shouldn't, because it requires no skill, you just spam, didn't you? Um, but yeah, anyway guys, um, I, will end, I will stop there talking, um, you can watch the rest of the gameplay, uh, you'll be extremely um, surprised by the scoreline. They're on 48 right now, we're on 44. Um, I'm not going to put any spoilers in, but you can probably tell what happens. Anyway guys, it's been your boy Fired Kid. It's been 49-44. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, here goes. Um, I'll see you guys all next time for episode 5. Um, that will probably be vehicles. Uh, see you all then guys. Take care. Thank you.